Right, and tonight's top story. Now, President William Ruto has tasked Kenya Revenue Authority to collect 3 trillion shillings by end of the current financial year, ending June 2023, and to double the current collections to 6 trillion shillings in five years. While fetting the top tax players of the year, the president told Kerry to take positive steps towards making the business environment favorable to traders and employ alternative mechanisms of collecting tax as well as expanding the tax base while sealing revenue leakages. Take a look. The annual tax collection hit the 2 trillion mark after KRA collected a record 2.03 trillion shillings in the last financial year 2021-2022, surpassing the set target by close to 150 billion shillings. And today, whilst President William Ruto commended the taxman for revenue mobilization, he also challenged the KRA to collect 3 trillion shillings by the end of the current financial year, ending next June. Continuity, investment sustainability, due process and the rule of law. The consequences are painful to contemplate. Our GDP has risen to Kenya shillings 12 trillion, yet KRA only raised about 14% of GDP in revenues last year. In the past, KRA was able to raise 18% of GDP. If we collect the same target today, then we would have raised an extra 400 billion shillings and to double the current collection in five years. This, he says, will be achieved through expansion of the tax base, simplifying the taxpayers' processes, sealing revenue leakages, as well as leveraging trade facilitation technology to efficiently manage border points and to promote the efficiency of cross-border trade. Every exemption denies Kenyans the right to benefit from national resources and is unfair to the loyal taxpayers who do the right thing. It is not an accident that revenue mobilization, though improving, remains far below its potential. We have and we are continuing to initiate comprehensive uh, re review of the tax policy landscape where we seek to strengthen tax administration through the use of technology and taxpayers' engagement. President Ruto said every Kenyan above 18 years should be issued with a Kenya Revenue Authority's pin, qualifying them to be taxpayers. He challenged the taxman to embrace technological solutions and lighten the tax paying burden through universal tax registration, adding that a unified tax system is the way to go. That the national government too is not at all impressed where when you walk to an office you cannot tell the original color of the wall because the whole wall is full of multiple licenses. Those licenses must give way to show people for people to appreciate the original color of the wall by having a single permit. So all permits should be collapsed under one. Our business people just be able to pay digitally on their phone and not have to go through around our offices trying to comply on paying of fire license, I don't know, water, health. From our part, it's going to be one. The president told Kerry to shift from the overtaxing of trade and undertaxing of wealth to enable the wealthy bear the appropriate burden. Warimu Jenga for Easy Friday.